All right, hello everyone. I'm Pete English with Keller Williams in the Atlanta Perimeter Office. And today we're going to talk about how do you get your loops, the data out of your dot loop and your contacts and back them up to a place where you can keep them for safekeeping with the assumption that you're not going to use dot loop any longer and maybe you're converting over to DocuSign. Irrespective, having a backup copy of your data is a pretty smart idea. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. If you find this video to be helpful, then simply click on the button below, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, and anytime we come out with another video, you'll be notified. All righty, let's get started. All right, um, actually, we don't need me to be very big at all. So let's see what we can do about that. And boom. All right, so as you can see, I am, I was, in dot loop. All righty, so what we're going to talk about today is how do we get the data out of dot loop and into Google Drive? The reason that I like to go to Google Drive is because if I back up to Google Drive, I get my data and my contacts. Were I to back up to Dropbox, I would only get my data, but not any of my contacts. So that's why I like Google Drive. There's a cost associated with this. To go from, from dot loop to Google Drive will cost you 10 bucks per month. To go from dot loop to Dropbox will cost you five bucks a month. So there's a $5 difference. However, the thought process is that for most agents, it won't take longer than one month to get all of your data off of dot loop and onto the Google Drive or the Dropbox for that matter. And you may or may not want to continue with the subscription. What a subscription does is it synchronizes any data between the two if anything changes. Now, logic would be that if we were getting off of dot loop, then you would not need a subscription to back up all of the information from, from dot loop to Google Drive. However, you might consider having a subscription to go from DocuSign to Google Drive so that you'd always have a backup of your data forever, right? So let's look at this. All right, we're in dot loop right now. The, the software that we're going to use is from a company called API Nation, all righty? APINation.com. So go to API Nation. I've already created an account, but you can go up, you can either sign up for free or it's going to cost you 10 bucks. So go ahead and sign up for an account, put in your credit card information, and you'll be at this same screen. Well, let me, if I sign in, you'll be at the same screen. All right. So I am signed in right here, and I think I'm signed in. And we're going to say, you don't have any syncs yet, browse our app directory. Let's make sure that I'm signed in first. Uh, yep, I'm signed in. Pete English, there we go. Authorization key, everything looks good right there. So we're going to go to syncs, and I don't have a sync, so we're going to browse our app directory. All right, and available apps. The first app we're looking for is dot loop. So we come down here, we say show all. It is alphabetical. So I come down here and I find dot loop. That's the first source. It says, yep, dot loop. Now I'm going to scroll down a bit. And the next thing I want to synchronize that with is Google Drive. All right, so I click on Google Drive. Notice over here, dot loop Google Drive. So I'm going from dot loop to Google Drive. And let me scroll down just a tad bit further. See where it says right here, $10 a month if you're an agent or $49 a month if you are an office or if you are an administrator on your dot loop team, all right? So an administrative account in dot loop is going to cost $50 a month, not $10 a month, okay? Just remember that. All right, so now I'm going to connect dot loop. So I'll click on the connect button right here. And in just a second, it should pop up. And it says, hey, you're in step two of four. We're going from dot loop to Google Drive. That's correct. So I'll come down here and I'll hit next. 
then it's going to say, I need somewhere to back up your contacts. And we're going to do that with Google Sheets. So on step three of four, we're going to connect Google Sheets. I will click Next. Then it says, all right, review the settings and start. So my dot loop account is pete.english at kw. Yep, that looks good. My Google Sheets is pete.english at for sale by Pete. Yep, that looks good. My Google Drive is the same thing. And the last thing it says is we're going to create a folder called dot loop via API Nation. Yep, that's fine because I, after we do this backup, I can always move it somewhere else. We're going to choose the plan, which is $10 per month. And when I hit start, away we go. Hopefully, let's see what happens. In the bottom left corner, it says waiting, waiting. And hopefully something happens. Good. All right. So now it says my sinks, your sink is all set, way to go. If you haven't already, please confirm your account and set your password using the instructions sent to my email address. Alrighty. I'm pretty sure I've already done that, so I don't have to do anything else. Now, active workflows. It says G backups, Google backup, sync loops to Google Sheets. All right, that's good, and it's turned on. All right. Now, going to Sheets again, loops, everything looks good, and I think that we are on our way, and at this point, I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't have all that many loops in there, but all of this is working in the background so I can go on and do something else. So if you have, let's say you're an agent, you've, you're an agent for 30 years and you have hundreds and hundreds of deals. Well, this is going to take some time. I mean, it could, it could easily take a couple of days to do this. So don't fret because it's happening in the background. You can log out of your computer, you can turn your computer off and it will still work. Now, one of the things I want to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to open a new browser window and I'm going to go into Google Drive and let's see if we have a folder in just a second. Uh, dot loop via API Nation. So see there is the subfolder that it, met, that it uh, created. I'm going to open it and it says default profile. I'll open that one and boom, notice that it is now creating all, every loop is creating a separate subfolder and it's copying that information into it. Now, a lot of these loops that I have are uh, that I use for training purposes. So there may or may not be any data in them. Uh, let's see what this one is right here. We'll open it. All right, and here are all of the different documents relative, see, every one of them. So there, if you'll notice, are all of the documents in this particular folder. Now, let's go back up here to the top, to the root, and I'm looking for that spreadsheet now, and I, don't, I may it may be too soon for that, but... Uh, okay, dot loop participants, right? So I'll open this spreadsheet and what will we find? Look at there. Look at all of those contacts. It gives us everything you ever wanted to know, but we're scared to ask. There's the spreadsheet of all of our dot loop information. Okay, I'm going to exit out of this. It will continue to run. And uh, I think that everything looks pretty good right there. So that's how to get all of your information out of dot loop and into the Google Drive. And you simply let it run until it finishes. And in, I don't know, 20 days or so, you can certainly turn this off or consider uh, changing your subscription to go from DocuSign to Google Drive. And then you'll always have a backup copy of all of your data and all of your contacts uh, so that if everything goes to heck in a handbasket, you'll have all of your data. Alrighty, hopefully this was helpful and uh, look forward to seeing you again. If this is helpful, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, you'll be notified if any new, uh, any new tech tips come out and I'd be glad to help you. Alrighty, thanks.